Let's talk about this old fart right here. Top rank CEO Bob Arum. You know, head dude in charge over at Top Rank Boxing. This is what CJ Goodfellow back with the Boxing Clinic. Shout out to Boxing Ego for touching on this subject as well. I read the article. And I was like, let me do a video on there. Check my subscription. You know, he had already did a video on it. But, you know, I'm still going to do my thing. You know, but, um, this hateful motherfucker. Let's get into it. So, basically, it's like this. Um, Bob Arum has an article on Boxing Scene talking about, you know, why he chose to take, you know, his boxing, uh, his boxing circus, his boxing, you know, stable over to ESPN, um, giving all the credit to the UFC, but let's go over some ancient history real quick. So we know Al Heyman had the brilliant idea of coming up with PBC or whoever works for him came up with the idea. Okay. Um, him and Bob Arum are both Harvard guys. So we're going to have some ancient history once again. Um, let's talk about it. So, um, uh, he came up with the PBC thing, you know, it was a brilliant idea. And a lot of these guys in the boxing world mad. They didn't think about it or couldn't be a part of it. Okay, Kathy Duva had the NBC thing, sports lockdown. Occasionally, she had an NBC, um, NBC regular NBC uh, afternoon card. Curtis Stevenson and uh, Derek Finley was on the undercard. What of them? You know, Steve, Steve Cunningham and Tyson Fury. I think fought on regular NBC as well. You know. And uh, Friday Night Fights was able to work with whatever promoter they wanted to work with on there. And uh, when Al Hammond came, you know, he monopolized the whole thing. You know, he took over the ESPN thing for a hot second, even though it wasn't, you know, real hot. He took over. The, he took. He got Spike, which MMA was already on Spike. NBC. Then he eventually get Fox. Um, CBS, which is already Showtime, went over to Showtime. A lot of people was like, ah, you know, where's he going to put fights on? He, you know, if he's going away from HBO. And the reason why HBO wanted to get away from Al Hammond is because they were making him, you know, Al Ham was making him pay top dollar for his fighters, most notably Andre Berto. Andre Berto was the guy that was getting top dollar to come out the amateur. He's supposed to be this great fighter, you know, that they were going to be able to match with Floyd Mayweather down the line. You know, it didn't come, it didn't turn out so well with him. And, uh, you know, Adrian Broner, the list goes on with the fighters that he made them pay top dollar for. He had a working relationship with Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya was the, the main promoter. He managed all his fighters. Once Oscar De La Hoya mentally went off the rails with the coke and the drag, you know, the drag queen thing, you know, I, you know, Al Hammond started running those contracts out so he can just lonely control the fighters or the boxers. And then he, what PBC is, he gives, you know, promoters, recycle promoters, if it was TMT, if it was Lou DiBella, they promote the fight. He provided the roster for the fight. And that's how, how it worked. And it was a brilliant plan. So, you know, once they seen things working, especially Oscar De La Hoya, he came back and they made a deal. He got some of his fighters back. He sued him for violating Muhammad Ali Act. So did Bob Arum. So did Kathy Duva sued him over the Adonis Stevenson thing. He beat all the cases. He's a Harvard man just like Bob Arum. And um, they're hard to deal with. His history, his brother was a boxer. Quick, quick history. I did a video on this on another channel I was working with. Brother was a boxing. I guess that infatuated with boxing. He promoted music tours, Jay-Z, Beyonce. And, and he's jumping back in music tours as well. He got a lot going on with New Edition. They're going to retour under the Al Heyman uh, thing or whatever. Promotional tour. So, you know, they all tried to sue him. Oscar gave him a few of his fighters back. Um... You know, then got Leo recoup Louis Santa Cruz at the you know Oscar wanted to make the rig and die fight, and you know he had the PBC thing and they couldn't touch him. You know they didn't want to work with him, but they admired what he did. And what Bob Brown went on record saying today was the simple fact that um, you know he said that uh, he gave props to the UFC mount. He said UFC has done a great thing with the free you know the free you know the free mixed martial arts on TV and that's how they grew their stable when HBO wanted to take more of their fights down the pay-per-view route and pay-per-view was basically dying in the article I linked the description and uh, I linked the uh, the link the article to the description excuse me and um he was giving all the credit to UFC and shitting on you know what Al Heyman did and that's not the reason why you know it was the UFC model it was a PBC model and they got a hard fucking time giving Al Heyman credit and there's a lot of fans out there that's believe it or not pledge allegiance to Bob Arum. I remember when Oscar De La Hoya was getting dog walked by Al Heyman because they wanted to buy, you know, Golden Boy when Oscar was on his little coke and, you know, drag queen thing. And, um, you know, they offered $100 million reportedly to buy Golden Boy. You know, Oscar said no. So that's when they ran all their fighters' contract, took all their fighters. And then Oscar ran to Bob Arum. Then Bob Arum fucked Oscar De La Hoya. No homo. But um, <laughs> but um, that's what happened. And then they tried to join forces to be out. Then they end up beefing with each other. Now Bob Arum's all with ESPN now. And, you know, Al Hammond is starting to put on cars on regular TV, Fox. So they getting, you know, ESPN. Now you're going to Fox, NBC, CBS. And they still don't give him the credit. So he's giving the credit to the model that Dana White built by putting their product on free TV and accessible cable, basic cable TV and not so much on pay-per-view TV and then having them buy into those those fights on regular TV and then taking them to pay-per-view but not giving Al Heyman the credit who really started in the boxing world. And they don't want to get Al Heyman credit because he dog-walked them. We gone.